everyone, it's Misty, long time no see. Before I get started with this video, I know that you guys are dying for a weigh-in. <laughs> I've heard from several of you who are dying for a weigh-in. And I'm gonna put those on hold until the first of the year. And let me tell you why. It's really hard for me to find a place to set up that's quiet enough to film with enough light with Lily and Bo living with us. <laughs> it's, it's actually damn near impossible. So I have asked and pleaded with Santa to bring me some lights for my craft room so I can set up a permanent place to film. And I don't have to worry about, you know, finding a place that's quiet with enough light. I can just go in my craft room, shut the door, tell them to shush it down <laughs> and film some videos. So I'm hoping to get back to weekly weigh-ins starting the first week of January. Now that doesn't mean that I'm not working on, um, eating better. I am doing low carb again. I haven't had any carbs. I had a little bit of carbs yesterday morning. <laughs> my cook makes the most amazing, amazing migas. Oh my word. So I had to have migas yesterday, but other than that, I've been eating super duper low carb. So I'm working on that and giving up soda, although I had one today because I have such a, I just, I feel like I have the plague. I feel like I'm coming down with something. Um, Rob had it all last week and I feel like I'm getting it. I am on an antibiotic, so hopefully that will help prevent it. But um, yeah, so yeah. So I promise you, and I'm promising because if Santa doesn't bring it, Mr. Gumba herself, that I will have some lighting and a more permanent setup starting in January so I can make weekly videos. So those are coming, I promise. This video is gonna be a beauty video. <laughs> um, this is kind of like one of those YouTube made me buy it. Um, Emily Noel 83, I believe is the last two numbers. She, um, Emily Eddington, I think is her name. She's here on YouTube. She's been on YouTube for a long time. She's one of no beauty gurus or whatever. She is fantastic. I really love listening to her because she gives honest, thoughtful reviews. And she had her holiday gift guide and she mentioned these lipsticks from ColourPop. And since I've gotten back into wearing makeup, I have been obsessed with lipsticks. Like some people love eyeshadows. Uh-uh, I love lipsticks. <laughs> Probably have 20 in my little collection <laughs> since I started wearing it again. Ugh, it's a sickness, I can't help it. So the one thing she talked about was one of these ColourPop um, lip um, collections, lippy stick collection, and you get six um, lipsticks, and this was on sale for $25 through Cyber Monday. I don't know if it's still on sale. I will link it in the description box below if it is, but these are fantastic. And look at this box. Hello, it's purple. I love it. And it has a little, um, it has a mirror on the inside and then it comes with, where's the camera? <laughs> it comes with the six lippy sticks. Oh, my one fell out um, because I wore one today. But these are fantastic. You get a little bit of everything. You get a matte, a cream, two creams, three mattes, and a pearlized. And I've been, I have a little bit of residue <laughs> today because I've been wearing the red out of this. Oh my word, it's so stinking pretty. But a friend of mine asked me if I would swatch these along with the ones I picked out on the side. These are normally $6 and I got them for four bucks a piece. So I'm gonna try these on um, in this video, mainly for her, but I thought, well, what the hell, I'll just post it on my um, YouTube channel so you guys can see it as well. I think these will make great stocking stuffers um, or a really nice gift if you know someone who's into lipsticks and makeup. I will say that if they wear like the same very neutral color every day. It's probably not the palette for them. <laughs> but if you see them in more of fun shades, like I wear a different shade of lipstick basically every day of my life because I just love all the different colors. So if you know someone like that, then this may be a great, 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 great gift for them. So I think I got most of my lips off. I have a feeling they're gonna be very chapped by the time I'm done. So I'm gonna go ahead and let them dry and I'm gonna start swatching. I'm looking over here at the viewfinder. I should be looking right there at the camera. I'm really bad at this. I'm never on camera. You guys only see my hands. Well, this channel, <laughs> um, I'm on camera, but my other channel, you only see my hands. So let me see if I can pop these out. Oh, sorry, that's probably banging on the table. So the first color, I'm gonna swatch them on my hands first or maybe I'll do a side by side. That's some crazy editing right there, yo. 
I'm gonna start with the lightest color. So this is from the Vixen. Did I say that? This is Vixen. And the first color is Last Call, and this one's a cream base. So it's just a stick, goes up like this. So this is more of a nude, nudie pink color. It's gonna show up. Hello, where am I going? <laughs> Really, really pretty. And then the next one in the set, which one's the next lightest? Uh, this one's called Plastics and it's a matte, it's kind of a darker berry. This is what it looks like. And dang, Missy. Top one, that's what it looks like on my hand. The next one is, We'll just stick with the berries. This one, oh, this one was nude. This is called Ruffle. Kind of a really kind of browny, nudie color. I really suck at this. You can tell I'm not no guru. Mm-hmm, I'm not a guru. What else? <laughs> this one is called Pearlized. There's supposed to be a little bit of pearl. Oh, this one came all the way up. Oh, it went back down. I was like, oh, please go back down. Ew, that one's pretty. Ha ha, next time I will do this on my right hand. Hmm, lesson learned. The next one is Night Owl. Ooh, I tried this one on earlier. It's so pretty. It's very bright. It's very, very bright. That's why, that's this one right here. Top one. And finally, the classic red, Jingle. Oh my word, this one is so stinking pretty. Look at that. Look at it, look at it, it's so pretty. So that's the Vixen collection from ColourPop. So let me clean my hand off. And I'm gonna switch to my right hand because it may be a little bit easier to show. Sorry, I keep looking at myself. I'm like, ooh. I'm afraid I have really bad lighting. I mean, my house is a cavern this time of day. In a cavern, in a cavern. Sorry. <laughs> so I picked up one ultra matte lip. So this is more like a liquid lipstick. I've already worn this color. It's absolutely gorgeous. I didn't even have any makeup on yesterday and it was absolutely gorgeous. This one is Scrooge. So that's the color in the tube. And of course it starts out shiny, but it will dry down to matte. So isn't that pretty? Oh my word. It's so pretty. And I'll show you what it looks like when it dries down to a matte. The next one, <laughs> I don't know if I will ever get to wear it because I didn't realize how dark it was gonna be. Which one is it? It's this one, which doesn't have a name on the, this is what they look like by the way. Doesn't have a name on it. Yeah, here we go. It's called Nevermind. It's like goth. <laughs> it's like so dark. It didn't look this dark, I promise. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so dark. Look at that. <laughs> oh my word. It's really dark on your lips too. Like I have a dark lipstick from Ulta that I love. You guys have probably seen it if you follow me on Instagram. This one's even darker than that. So I, I'm not quite sure about it. I've put it on my lips and I'm like, <gasps> I may have to lighten that up with something, <laughs> something underneath it. The next one's called Boogie. And this one is a satin finish. And this one is, I don't know. It's a matte. Nevermind was a matte. Scrooge was a matte. This one is satin. That's what that looks like. A really pretty berry. It's the one on the bottom. 
kind of is still in the purple family, but definitely has some magenta in it. So it's really, ooh, going way too far. And last but not least, what might be one of my absolute favorite colors besides Jingle that I, per actually, let me just, let me back up. I love all of these colors. <laughs> <laughs> and it's been very hard for me not to go buy more because they're and they introduced a couple of new colors and I'm like why <laughs> why didn't you introduce those last week when I was buying this one is called leather and this one is so pretty this one's also a matte yeah a matte lipstick and what I enjoy about their mattes is they're not super drying and they go on really creamy so that bottom one is leather So yeah, seriously, seriously pigmented and goes on really smooth, but totally worth the money. It came in really cute packaging, which I threw away. <laughs> the box was great. I know that I've watched some YouTubers who say they didn't get a box. They just get them in an envelope, which I think is um, poor planning on ColourPop's and it may just be they didn't have their boxes in or something like that, but I always think that the packaging is where you start. This Vixen package, I'm gonna keep it forever. Number one, it's purple because that's a beautiful. And number two, it holds all of them. It's magnetized so it won't open and it's something that you can throw in a bag or whatever if you're gonna travel. Um, so these wear really well, the matte shades especially. Um, I did have some feathering around my mouth, but I had been eating. So when I wasn't eating, when I was drinking, I had a little bit come off on my straw, but it wasn't a huge amount. It wasn't the least bit noticeable. So these, again, this is the Vixen. I keep calling it a palette, but it's a lippy stick collection. You get six um, sticks. It was on sale for $25. I don't know how true that still is. It would help if I showed it to you. It's pretty in purple. <laughs> and then I picked up the other shades. I'll link all of them in the description box below. As always, thank you so much for joining me. I hope this was helpful, Misty. <laughs> Misty Pot de name twin and um, I hope you're able to get some of these and I hope everybody else found this video helpful again I'm not a beauty guru I don't claim to be a beauty guru I probably look like a hot mess putting on all these <laughs> these lipsticks but I promise that I would swatch them I did my good deed for the week is done I will talk to you guys soon again I'll try to do many check-ins between now and the first of the year but you can I can guarantee um, if you're not from a southern state, you may not have to deal with this, but those are tornado sirens. And they, every city tests theirs on a different day during the week. And I just happen to forget that today is our day. <laughs> so, <sighs> luckily it's close and we can hear it if we need it, as you could probably notice. So, I, do other states do that? Do you guys do that in the north? Oh no. I mean, I've only lived in Oklahoma and Texas and it's, it's basically an every week thing. And thank goodness, because you don't want to hear those in, in May or June or hell last week we had really bad weather. So finally, <laughs> Okay, guys, everything will be listed in the description box below. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this was helpful. I hope you have an amazing holiday. I'll try to check in here and there. Always follow me on social media. I have a Facebook page and an Instagram that I always link in the description box below. That's probably the easiest way to find me, or you can send me an email. I miss you. I promise I will be back at the first of the year with more content, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Leave all this in so you guys can enjoy tornado sirens from Dallas, Texas. Plus you can keep looking at my lipstick, it's so pretty. It's mesmerizing. Lord Jesus! <laughs> it's been a minute! This is Mary and Josephine. This is Mary and Josephine.